Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a high-end haul video for you, kind of combining things that I've received in PR, things that I've purchased myself, things that have been given to me from friends or family members, but all higher-end brands, things that you wouldn't find at like Walmart or the drugstore. So let's jump right in. The first things that I received are from Cargo, um, Cargo Cosmetics. The first is a limited edition liquid lipstick kit. I believe this would, came out around the holidays. And I also received their um, Swimmables Waterproof Mascara Top Coat. Oh, that's really neat. And Dare to Flare Mascara. So I plan to try these out sometime. I'm going swimming actually this weekend when we go away for the weekend. So maybe I can try those out. And the colors in the liquid lipstick kit are nude, berry, and red. So I will probably do a swatch video of these shortly. And I will be including a discount code for Cargo Cosmetics down below. So check that out. It's listed under most of my recent videos as well. Next, we have by Michael Todd Beauty, the Sonic Blend, the world's first antimicrobial sonic makeup brush. Uh, it is a makeup brush that applies makeup at sonic speeds of up to 200 times per second and has a built-in protection against microbial contamination so the brush stays cleaner, fresher, and longer. Creates better coverage too so you use less makeup. That's awesome. So very excited to try this out. Next, I received a box from Stila. It's still mostly in its packaging. I received some liquid lipstick. I believe this one has the sparkle top coat. Yep, the glitter top coat. And then a little, I believe, holiday bright and bold set, which I do already have, so this will probably be a future giveaway. Ooh, one of their magnificent metal metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow. This is in Kitten Karma. I have to see the color. I have been so curious to try these. Oh, pretty. It's like their kitten highlight, which I have on today. Ooh. It's a really pretty rosy gold color. Very excited to try that one out. Uh, ooh, the Starlight Star Bright Holiday Palette. I don't know if this is going to be part of their normal collection, but someone I follow on Instagram had posted pictures of this, and it looked so pretty. So here they are. They're like they're like a bouncy consistency, almost like the ColourPop shadows. You can push the product around, but it doesn't really go away. There's the pinky one. tan one and then the coppery one. Ooh. Next is the Caribbean Dream Duo, which I do already have this, so this will probably also be part of a future giveaway. And last but not least, their Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color in Light. So, thank you, Stila. Excited to try those. Next are some things that I purchased myself from MAC Cosmetics. First, I purchased the uncontrollable matte lipstick from the Color Rocker line. And it looks like this. It's a really pretty, I would say like a light terracotta peach color. I don't exactly know how to describe it, but I've worn this already and I love it. This was not in my original Color Rocker swatch video, but there's the swatch, and I've worn it in other videos, so you can see it on the lips. The other one that I wanted to buy from that line is the Mud Rustler color. I think I saw Pippin's Wife do swatches, and I knew I needed those two. And this one is Mud Rustler. It's just a really nice kind of cool nude color which I don't have. I have a lot of peachy nudes and pinks, but this is just a nude. It's awesome. It's not quite as cool as stone, but I feel like it's great for lighter skin tones like me if you don't want to go into like the, what do they call it? 
grunge look. I think that this, you can still pull this off if you don't want to do the grunge thing. Another lipstick. Oh, me and MAC lipsticks. We have this love-hate relationship. I love them, but my wallet hates them. This one is O, just the letter O. And I don't have any shimmery metallic lipsticks from MAC, so this is my first. But I put this on and I thought it would be a lot darker. But it's this gorgeous shimmery like raisin color. Not even raisin, it's just really pretty. And I thought that it would be perfect for winter, so I added this one to my collection. And I've been using a lot of cream shadows lately. And I own the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, which I use quite often as a shadow base. You can already tell there's like a huge divot in it. So I decided to try another one. I wish that they had like a pale pink matte or just a pale, almost white bone matte color, but they don't. So I had to settle for Bear Study, which is not matte, but I thought it would be light enough for me to put under things. It's like a very light champagne -y gold color. And I feel like a lot of shadows would pair well on top of that. So I got this to try with some cut crease looks. So I'm very excited to try that. And then last but not least, the Zoom Lash Mascara in, I think this is called Beat. I think it's the color Beat, but it doesn't say on here. So I wanted to try these. This is one of their little like sample ones for $10. So sample mascara, excited about that. Because I've been trying to wear the shade Blood Roses by Kevin Aquan, their mascara, and it just irritates my eyes every time I wear it. I even wash it off and then the next morning my eyes are so irritated. There's something about that mascara. I love the color. I love that it's like a burgundy, rosy color, but it just doesn't work, so hopefully that MAC one will work for me. Next, we have some goodies from Smashbox. I have been dying to try these cover shot palettes. I mean, look, the graphics are awesome. <laughs> How many other palettes do you know that have a moving cover like this? So cool. So the first one, they don't have names. Okay, so I don't know what they are. They came just like this. This one does not have a sticker. This one is the Metallic Eyes palette. This one is unknown, so I will have to look it up and get back to you. But the colors are beautiful. Oh yeah. Look at that pigmentation. Wow. Okay, so that one's gorgeous. Can't wait to use that. I think I'll probably do a Smashbox tutorial using these or I'll do a swatch video. So let me know if you have a preference of which. And this one is the Metallic Eyes palette. It's mostly lighter color, all metallic. There are no mattes in this one. So let's try a couple of these. Definitely good pigment here. There are the three. The first two are lighter colors, but on the skin, you can see them. They clearly come off, so great quality shadows this time. Excited about these. And whoever thought up that cover design, brilliant. Next, we have a whole bunch of the Be Legendary lipsticks. I own, I think, four or five of these already, so I plan to do a swatch video of my entire Be Legendary lipstick collection from Smatchbox, so stay tuned if you'd like to see that. So I'll swatch a few of these for you. Okay, this one looks more of like a reddish brown. Let's see, where have I not swatched? So it's like a peachy brown, and that one was Latte Matte. We'll try a few others. I'm gonna do lip swatches of these, so. Everything looks different on lips than on the arm. This one is Standing O. Oh, okay, that one's pretty. Even more peach, less brown. And let's see, what other one? How about this Jam On It purpley color? 
I don't want this video to be a million years long. Ooh. Yeah, that reminds me of like raspberry jam. Very cool. Next, we have a whole bunch of things either purchased or received from Sephora. So let's see what's in here. Um, mini deluxe charcoal brush set. It's cute. Comes in like a faux leather pouch. What is this? Brush meets comb hairbrush cleaner. Pocket size tool designed to gently clear hairbrush bristles of hair, dust, and product buildup. Okay. So since I'm just trying to be real with you guys, I clearly need this product. Can you see how much hair is on my hairbrush? I clearly do not. This is not the one I use every day, but I do not clean them often enough. So definitely something that I will be using. Next is the Mini Color Switch by Vera Mona. Oh, I've seen so many people rave about this product, so I'm gonna be using this in my next shadow tutorial to see how well the colors actually do switch. Then I have a few lip products in here. What is this? This reminds me of an old lip product that I had as a kid. You push down and the product comes out. Tell me this doesn't remind you of something you had as a kid. Is it just me? But this is their Sweet Balm in Sweet Violet. Really cute packaging, very nostalgic. All right, let's see. Next we have Perfect and Restore Sponge and Solid Brush Cleaner Set. That's nice. This is a cute little gift. Some coconut water cleansing cream. Oh, this looks like this is one of their cream lip stains. Let's bust into this one. I've tried their liquid lipsticks in like little sets that came, I think it was like a, in the Disney collection or in one of the collections and I've enjoyed them, but this is their cream lip stain and this is in the color 42 Rosewood. All right, ready? Oh, that's pretty dark. It's like a dark reddish brown or brownish red. I don't know if I can do that one, but I will try it on my lips at a later date and let you know what I think. And finally, a contour kit by Sephora has six shades, everything you need to precisely sculpt, define, and highlight. This all-in-one palette includes three contour shades to shadow the hollows of your cheek, forehead, jawline, while three matte highlight shades bring light to cheekbones, bridge and nose, soft pigmented formula blends effortlessly into the skin for a contoured look that works for every face shape and skin tone. All right, let's, let's check this out. Are these cream or powder? Looks like this. They're powder. Very creamy. Highlight the bridge of my nose here. And then some contour shades. This one looks like the coolest one. Oh, that's really pigmented. Whoa. <laughs> Those are dark. You see them right there? So this is definitely the only one I'm gonna be using. But this is really nice, can't wait to use that. So that concludes today's high-end haul video. I hope you enjoyed. I will be doing tutorials and swatches of some of these products moving forward, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!